So I've got the bag of carrots from oh, um, a year and four months ago, or just about a year and four months ago. I'm going to open it up and check it out. Okay, well they smell just like carrots still. Okay, okay. nice and crunchy. Kind of like a sweet carrot. So the taste is good. I don't think it changed any over the last uh, 16 months. So I got some water heated up in the microwave and I just pour over it. And then I'm going to put a lid on that so that it can kind of steam. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I put enough water in there. Huh. They probably should have more water. Probably should have left them in the bag and then suck out the air. That way they're all surrounded by water. Okay. And usually with carrots, when you first rehydrate them, they seem kind of soggy. Got to give them quite a while for carrots, especially these are pretty thick. I'm going to heat up a little bit more water. All right. So... Uh, heated up some additional water. Oh, that's better. Now I'm going to cover it and let it set for probably at least 15, 20 minutes. But usually carrots that, um, from my experience, carrots this thick really take a couple of hours to not seem spongy. They take a long time to get the water back in. But I haven't tried them with hot water either. I usually just put them cold water and then put it in the refrigerator and wait. So I don't really know what it'll take for hot water. So, so I'll test one. Yeah, that still seems spongy. Yep, still spongy, kind of a soft carrot, but not bad. And the flavor's perfect. There's nothing wrong at all with that. Okay. And let that set for a while and we'll come back to it. It's been just uh, maybe five minutes. Gonna recheck that. Yep, still, still toasty hot. And again, with carrots that I've done before, I think I've always, I think I've just done them with cold water. Huh, I should check the video. It smells great. It smells just like carrots. But I know usually we give them a few hours because they seem kind of spongy for a while. But these are the factory frozen ones, which are not as good as fresh ones anyway. I'm going to take another one and slice it. Okay, texture's a little bit better than five minutes ago. They're definitely soft, but they're not objectionably spongy or anything. Mm. Uh, they're not too bad. Yeah, so I think in general, I like to give carrots a good long time. Uh, and that's why I think putting cold water or maybe putting hot water, I don't know, and then letting them cool, leave them in the refrigerator for a couple hours. Because some things just need a good long time to rehydrate. The cell structure in this doesn't like to get the water back in. They're kind of slow to, to freeze dry. They're kind of slow to rehydrate. Give them a little time. But they're good. The flavor's good. They are a little soft still, 
but not different than if you had like canned cooked carrot or canned carrots, these are better than canned carrots already. Canned carrots are terrible. So um, yeah, in 10 or 15 minutes, you've got better than canned carrots would ever be. So I'm going to just let them, since it's still hot, I'll just let them sit there and check back with them in another period of time. So it's been 35 more minutes and I'll check them. They've cooled quite a bit. Let's take one out and check it. Oh, definitely more firm now. That's doing much better. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's good enough. I'm going to drain them and cook them with some butter and bacon. All right. So I got some butter and bacon in bacon bits in the pan. Just going to heat that until it starts to get crispy. In the meantime, I'll drain the carrots and get ready to toss them in there. Got a little bit of grated Pecorino Romano. I'm going to toss on top of that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Because what's not better with bacon and butter? Okay, I'm going to put the carrots in now. And kind of stir them around. And I'll give them a good toss and add some bit of salt and pepper. So I just want to heat them enough to get them nice and hot. Add a bit of pepper and a bit of salt. A little bit of the Pecorino Romano and turn it off because I don't want to overdo them and cover it for a minute. That's this bag of carrots from 16 months ago. At least tomorrow would be 16 months. Oh, uh, don't know what else I should say about that. Oh yeah, that's no comparison. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. It probably would have been better to let them rehydrate even longer in the refrigerator. Uh, even if you go overnight in the refrigerator, they'll get even more crisp. But these are still better than any canned vegetables you had better than any um, junior high uh, cafeteria food. Yeah, they're pretty good. Anyway, so the bottom line is the carrots came out fine. We do know from experience, if you let them rehydrate overnight in the refrigerator, they do get even more crisp, but there's nothing wrong with these. These are, these are a good carrot. Yeah, it's a delicious uh, carroty and bacony. Yeah. Okay, no off flavors or anything, even when they're before I rehydrate them, they were good. The rest of the Picorino Romano.